Uh, as often as we talk, we could call this segment, Does He Think We're Stupid? And uh, Robert, I'd like to begin with you. Um, the president says, don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. That's not Churchillian. It's wrong and it's anti-science. And we hope the people who hear that message have better sense than that message. But talk about the danger of that message delivered from the White House balcony. Well, you know, Brian, I think everyone hoped that when the president caught this terrible virus, that it would help him more greatly understand what he'd been missing for months and months. And yet we have somebody who rushed out of the hospital, uh, who endangered Secret Service and Marine helicopter pilots, uh, who walked into the White House tonight actively shedding uh, a terribly contagious virus. Uh, and the first thing he did when he got there was take off his mask. And everything about what the president has been doing for the past six to seven months and everything he's been doing in the past three days is anathema to what anybody should be doing to keep themselves safe and out of harm. So I do hope that anybody that's out there listening is, is wearing a mask when they go outside, is staying away from each other, socially distant. If you've been exposed, get tested. Uh, and, and if you are uh, potentially exposed, quarantine yourself. Don't act as the president has and put a number of people in continual danger of getting this deadly disease. Uh, Steve Schmidt, you read as many history books as anyone I know. Did Mr. Hannity's comparison of Trump with FDR and Churchill also occur to you as you were taking in the White House South Lawn tableau this evening? Uh, no, 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 it, it did not, Brian. Um, his leadership is very much the opposite of FDR and Churchill. And it's just a desecration of history and the memory of two of the world's greatest statesmen that anybody would ever compare the recklessness of Trump's behavior, his malice, his meanness, his irresponsibility uh, to FDR, to Winston Churchill, who saved the world from the Oval Office. Uh, actually, FDR sat behind the same desk, the Resolute desk, a gift to this country from the timbers of, the, uh, of a British ship, the Resolute, that was given to us by Queen Victoria as a gift. And FDR sat behind that desk with, with Churchill at the side. They would mix cocktails every evening at, at five o'clock as they plotted to make the world safe for democracy. And we're looking at somebody in these pictures who less than a week ago threatened violence in this country if he were to lose an election. Somebody who activated every militia group in this country. They all believe that they heard a lock and load, weapons to the ready order. You know, we saw this stunt, the drive around Walter Reed, endangering the Secret Service agents. It's just complete and total foolishness from the beginning of this crisis. It's tragic. If, if we had the same mortality rates in America that the Germans had, there'd, there'd be 150,000 more of us alive today uh, than, 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 than there are. It's, um, we'll have 100,000 more dead Americans. We have a broken economy. The American way of life has been fundamentally disrupted all because of this fool, and that's what he is. I don't, I don't use the words lightly. Um, his, his recklessness has endangered lives, and the idea that he's some type of hero, that he did this for us, that he faced down coronavirus, trying to assume the patina of heroism around this coward is just an appalling spectacle to watch, as is my, my colleague and partner, Reed Galen, today looking at the scene of Trump from the balcony uh, he called him Benito Trumpolini. And it is amazing that all of these guys with this autocratic fetish, they certainly do like the balconies, don't they? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.